Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. I'm Estelle Designs, both here on YouTube and Instagram, and I like to make fantasy costumes. In today's video, we're going to talk through how I made Alina's military uniform from the Netflix series Shadow and Bone. So if you'd like to see all of that, then just keep on watching. So as usual, I've got my iPad down here, which has my Instagram open, and I'm just going through my close friends' stories. Um, highlights. So that's where I post all of the progress on my projects. If you'd like to join those close friend stories, um, you can check out my Patreon. The link will be down below. So I found this nice cotton brown vintage style coat from eBay and I think I only paid like $30 for it. It was like maybe $40 including shipping. So honestly that is a bargain in terms of how much money you're saving by not having to go out, purchase your own fabric, spend a heap of time making your own pattern only for it to maybe not fit as well as you'd like. Um, so I do like starting with bases like this where they're already pretty much made, I just need to make a few alterations. So I started by marking the centre front of the coat. This one was a double breasted one, so I just marked the where I wanted the centre to be with chalk and I did that on both sides so I could then trim that down especially because I didn't need it to be double breasted and I wanted it to easily open and close um, because that's how I want to get into it. I don't want to be getting in into it using a side zip or anything like that. I chopped off the buttons and I wanted to repurpose those buttons for the top labels on her I think they're called labels, shoulder, the shoulder button detail thingies um, later on. Um, but I ended up switching these buttons for a different set of buttons later on just because they were smaller and they also had little sun motifs on them, which I thought were quite cute. So I chopped off the center front piece and now you can see that it is a bit more fitted to my body. Um, and I wanted to add the fluffy black trim down the center. But before we do that, I wanted to work on the collar. So the collar of hers is quite um, stiff and it stands up a bit straighter, whereas the collar on the original coat that I bought, um, I think folds down on itself and it doesn't stick up straight. So what I did was I just folded down um, one of like along the top edge of the collar and that would help with the stiffness um, for the fabric. I cut out a blue um, strip of fabric. I pinned that blue fabric to the collar um, where that fabric had been folded over at the top. So I brought this whole thing to the sewing machine and I sewed down the blue fabric to the top of the collar and I sewed that and then turned it right side out and then sewed it again so it would be held in place. Trimmed off the excess and then I could add the black fluffy trim. For the front of the coat, I just used those offcuts and sewed black fluffy trim to it. I don't think I really followed a particular process, I just did whatever worked and you can start to see it slowly come together. As for all of those strips of fabric on the bodice part of the coat, I ended up using this gold braid for the trim. I cut out so many of these little blue strips as well as the gold braid trim and I pinned them down to the front of the coat just like the reference image. I think mine turned out a little bit wonky, but I did the best I could. Um, I took off all of the gold um, trim and I first sewed down each of those blue strips. So I went around each one with a zigzag stitch on my sewing machine and that took a lot of time, but it had to be done because um, otherwise the edges would fray and they would fall apart and it wouldn't really um, be durable. So that's why I had to zigzag stitch around each of those blue um, pieces of fabric. I needed to seal off the edges as well of the gold braid um, so those wouldn't fray. And to do this, I used a lighter. Because the gold braid trim is synthetic, um, if you use a lighter, the flame will essentially melt the ends of the fabric and therefore it won't fray. So that's how I finished off those edges and I did that for all of them before pinning them onto the blue strips and then being able to run those under the sewing machine to sew them all down. I added the black fluffy trim to the cuff of the of the coat and I just sort of guesstimated how wide and how, how tall I wanted them and the, the general shape. I just looked at a lot of reference images for that and I sewed it to the end of the cuff, um, brought it back up 
and top stitched it down. I also needed to add a bit of gold braid and the blue fabric to the like top of the cuff part. I hope I'm explaining that okay, but I guess just look at the images um, and you can you can uh, infer what I'm trying to say. Um, so I put all of that together and this is what the cuff looks like. I just need to top, top stitch those down. There was a lot of hand sewing involved as well for some of these things. Um, because the, the sleeves of the coat were already made, I couldn't fit the cuff um, at least the upper part of the cuff underneath my sewing machine, so I did have to hand sew those down. I'm not sure if you remember, but if you've been following me for a while, you would know that I bought this gold iron-on trim from AliExpress a few years back actually for when I made my black Alina kefta, and I had some of that left over, so I used that um, for the little sun symbol on I can't remember which side it was, but on one of the sleeves of the coat. I also used it for the top of the cuffs as well. Like I said, all of this needed to be hand sewn because I couldn't fit the sleeve under my sewing machine since it's already uh, in the shape of a in the shape of the sleeves. So that's what I did there. Um, once that was all sewn, we're getting pretty close to the end. There were just a few minor things that I needed to make. Um, one of those being her belt. And I used the belt that I had for my black kefta. That's just a black thick belt with a little gold buckle. And the belt's from Forever New and the buckle is from AliExpress. But underneath the belt, I needed to make a blue strip of fabric to complete the look for this military outfit. For this, I just cut out a rectangle of blue fabric and sewed that together, ironed it flat, and then sewed Velcro to the ends so I could secure that around my waist underneath the belt. The belt would close everything after everything's gone. And another thing that I needed to make were those little shoulder details, like I was saying in the beginning. Um, I just used leftover fabric from where I cut the center part of the coat. I just used that leftover brown fabric, made little arrow-shaped rectangle things. Um, so just sewed those together, flipped them right side out, ironed them flat, and then I sewed those little gold buttons. Finally, I added some tabs to the back, just below the waist as well. These are all fake, um, none of them are actually functional. I'm sure from the show there they serve some sort of purpose. Added some rope um, which comes across one of the shoulders, drapes down and secures in the center. So for this I um, sewed a loop using some thread and that would loop over a button in the center. I just tied the rope in knots to secure that all into one clump and then that would secure in the center. That is how I made it. I'm sorry that it's super rushed that I went through this really quickly. It was a long time ago that I made it now, but I wanted to get this video out there. So selfishly, I have record of it. Um, so I don't have to go digging through my stories, but also I hope it's helped some of you out there who maybe want to make this costume. And very sad that the show is not continuing, but it was good while it lasted. The boy and I really loved the show. We cosplayed season one and season two, and we also did a skit. So if you want to check out that, that's also on my YouTube channel. I'll, I'll link it somewhere. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like my stuff, uh, please give it a like, follow me on Instagram for more things and subscribe. <laughs> Until next time, stay creative.